In the not so distant future, SpaceX will be launching the IFT-2 Starship flight from Boca Chica Starbase, Texas, and we kind of have an idea of when. And this is so cool. I'm so pumped about this because Elon Musk and SpaceX have both said that they do plan to do a mid-November launch. Okay, so the second test flight of a fully integrated Starship could launch as soon as mid-November, pending regulatory approval. Now, SpaceX and the FAA work closely together and they talk all the time, which we don't have the information about what they say to each other, or how they communicate, but they think a mid-November launch is possible. Now, we have some backup data for this, and we're going to go into a little bit more information about this. Elon and SpaceX, this is called a NOTMAR, or a NOTAM, sorry, the NOTAM. And the NOTAM basically says, keep out of this area because there's going to be rocket launching activity between September 29th, 2023, um, this was when it was issued, and then October 1st through December 31st, right? So that's like some some time, right, that Elon and SpaceX said, okay, so when could we launch this thing? Possible launch activities in October? So that kind of threw us all off, right? And this was in September, September 29th. And Elon and maybe SpaceX thought it's going to take a little longer than November. But since they just posted this a little bit ago, a couple of days ago, this is kind of null and void. This could possibly also be for future launches for IFT3. So let's, just, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Now we have a little bit more information, a little bit more data that we can go on for the next launch. Alex Physics 13 on Twitter. X, uh, a NOTAM has been posted for Mexican airspace for the next launch of SpaceX's Starship. The notice is valid from November 13th to the 18th, with daily windows running from 7 a.m. CST to 9.39 a.m. CST. So they're going to be doing an early launch window for this. They have a, about a two-hour and 39-minute launch window for this thing. And as you can tell, a dangerous area. Uh, for falling debris of Starship rocket, SpaceX lateral limit areas formed by the union of the following points. And these are the, uh, the coordinates of where this may happen. So Alex has the information. This is pretty cool. 7 a.m. to 9.39 a.m., November 13th to the 18th. Now, if we go back to Cameron County, where SpaceX is located, November 13th. 2023, 12 a.m. to 2 p.m. This is directly from the county saying possible closure of Highway 4, which is the highway that's running down to Starbase, which is where they launched our ship. I'm I'm so pumped. This is this is going to happen. IFT2 is going to happen sometime soon, hopefully. November 14th and November 15th as well, in case the primary date doesn't go off when they want it to. Now, SpaceX updated the Starship's second flight webpage too. And this is on the SpaceX official website. Second flight test. And they go through all of the information about the flight. We have a whole video about that, the last video before this one. So I'll link it at the end of the, this video so you can understand what's going on in this page. But they do a new flight pattern um, where they ascend and they separate, hot stage separating, etc. And you know, that's been posted to SpaceX's website. Now, here is the secret. Okay, are you guys ready for the secret? Because the secret isn't on the outside. The secret is on the inside. It's hidden in the code of this web page. It's hidden right here. This is the code. This is the JSON from this. And Starship Flight 2, Starship Second Flight Test, subtitle, Upcoming Launch, Learn more, call to action. Quick detail, null. Date, 11-13-2023. It's nowhere to be seen on the front of this page. There's nothing here about the 13th. Let's find. Let's do a find for 13. There's nothing other than 1 minute, 13 seconds. Ship locks load underway. Other than that, that's it. But if you go into the code... 11, 13, 2023. I'm using Firefox here, so it looks a little bit different. But here you can see the assets from uh, the page, which is a JPEG, flight mission to desktop, et cetera, et cetera. 
Also, this thing can, can be backed up by somebody that we all love and trust, Eric Berger. At the end of this article on Ars Technica, you can see Eric saying, um, SpaceX will again target a morning liftoff for the rocket, perhaps around 8 a.m. local time in South Texas. Sources have indicated to ours that the earliest possible launch date is November 13th, but nothing is set in stone. The flight timeline and profile released by the company on Friday for the second flight test is similar to April's test, et cetera, et cetera. Now he's talking about this page right here. So we have some possible dates, 11, 13, 2023. Do you think they're going to launch this early or do you think the Fish and Wildlife Service are going to hold them back a little bit? Please let me know in the comments below. I think we have some pretty good evidence of the net uh, launch of the Starship IFT2, though, basically because of this code and also because of uh, Alex's Twitter post here, uh, November 13th to 18th. So they have a five day range there that may happen. And of course, this is, you know, this is all subject to change. This is all speculation. So a uh, dangerous area because we don't have the FAA approval yet. They don't have a flight approval that they've announced yet. And they don't have the Fish and Wildlife Service uh, uh, like handoff. So they don't actually have any evidence that this is going to happen on this day. But they do this just in case if it all goes through. It's basically like, okay, we're going to we're going to set this site this time aside. And if it does happen, um, then we're all set. We're all good to go. So dangerous area for falling debris and Starship rocket space lateral limit areas uh, formed by the unit of following areas. So that's a possibility that it's happening um, pretty soon. Yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think they're going to think they're going to launch it? Um, I was questioning mid November. Um, and I was gonna, I was saying like mid to late November was basically my speculation when they started uh, doing the Fish and Wildlife Service. I thought it was going to be a little bit later than that. I thought it was gonna they're gonna take all the time they could and do it until like maybe early next year. But then I I kind of held I kind of pushed back a little bit and middle of November maybe uh, December maybe early December who knows at this point. But eleven thirteen to the 18th be ready for announcements in the next few days because it's the seventh today and if you're new to this channel i want to say thank you for tuning in today and if you've been here for a while i want to say thank you for sticking around and if you're you've been here and you watch this stuff and you've watched numerous videos please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel because it does help it's free it only takes a second and it helps out tremendously when we get new subscribers. And also leave a comment down below. The interaction with people uh, on the pages is, is awesome. So I want to know your thoughts about all of this. And it's still, of course, just speculation. You know, we don't really know exactly when this is going to launch. But here's some concrete proof on SpaceX's own website, 11-13-2023, that this is when they do have the no earlier than launch date for Starship IFT2. So that's about it for today, everybody. I really do appreciate you stopping by. I appreciate all of your support throughout the years that we've been doing this, and I would appreciate a thumbs up or a like. <laughs> I don't, I never, and I still don't. I've been doing this how long? For so long? And I still don't know how to end these things. So I'm just going to say, watch that video up there. That's all I got. Like, I don't know how to end these things. I don't like to say goodbye. I'll just say, uh, I'll see you next time. Okay. Okay. Bye everybody. Hey, I just said goodbye.